Hi, it's Sarah Taylor. Welcome back to my channel. I just want to share something really interesting with you today. Um, so what I'm doing is I put, I'm doing kind of a typical bloom swipe that I like to do. And the pillow um, is a really wonderful recipe. I'll put the video below in the description and it's called Pillow Talk. Um, and then I'm just kind of laying some different colors down, some indigo. That's um, a color art pigment called Desert Clay, which I love. And then I'm going to go in with some different Charvin colors. That's actually is a Charvin magenta. And uh, then some TLP ballet slipper. Um, anyways, just some beautiful colors, um, some of my favorites. And especially when I'm experimenting, I like to just go in with colors that I know, that I love. Um, and I was in touch with a Canadian fluid artist who, and everybody, I, I, if you're not aware, um, TriArt is now being offered in the U.S. by Fluid Art Company. And we've all been really excited about their high viscosity acrylic paint in, in combination with the Australian Floetrol as a cell activator. And I absolutely love that. It's I, this is interesting what I'm doing today, but I would say that that is still my favorite recipe for a cell activator. And what I really liked about it was that all the different colors work really, really well. And, you know, not to put Amsterdam completely by the wayside because the Amsterdam paints work beautifully as a cell activator. And when, I, when I'm talking about cell activator, just in case you're not familiar, so with a bloom painting, there's three layers. There's the pillow, which is the big kind of thick puddle of paint that you put down. This is much thicker paint than, um, than the pearl technique that I work with. And then you put the your colors, which are mixed, and I'll put all the recipes in the description. And then this is the cell activator I'm working with today. It's uh, three parts of this triart polymer in gloss and then it's one part of the triart high viscosity acrylic paint and yeah this artist her name's crystal and she's really cool um had just kind of mentioned that she really liked the way the triart polymer worked um and it kind of got me thinking you know i don't know how available the polymer is uh, like worldwide. I know Australian flow trial can sometimes be difficult to get. I noticed, um, you know, sometimes it's sold out in, for Can for Canada, for Canadians. So I know if you're Canadian that this triart polymer is going to be very easy for you to get. And it reacts really well. And what I found really interesting about it was that usually when a cell activator starts to dry, it kind of sinks down a little bit. And this actually raised up. So it kind of like floated on top as it dried. And it was a very glossy, kind of high gloss finish. It was very cool. So I enjoyed working with it. I don't know if I'm going to actually like completely switch over to this for my cell activator. However, it's a great option for, um, for somebody if you maybe can't get your hands on the Australian Floetrol. And there's also another solution. Um, you know, if you can only get American Floetrol and you're mixing it with either the Triart or the Amsterdam, you know, it's an old trick that we've all, you know, the, a lot of people used to use just a little bit of the um, Minowax wood conditioner. I buy the one that comes in a red can. Home Depot discontinued it and they're selling their own um, wood conditioner, which also works wonderful. You want to make sure to get the um, oil-based wood conditioner is what you need and you just add a few drops of it and that also makes a really really good cell activator so there are options out there you know american floetrol a little bit of amsterdam titanium black or oxide um black, black oxide or titanium white and then a little bit of minowax wood conditioner and you've got yourself a very good cell activator but if you want to try this uh, i encourage you because it was really cool the I would say that the pigment in the cell activator did break just a little bit more than I would have liked. So I don't know. I mean, I don't know if it's something to run out and buy right away. I'm going to probably experiment with it a little bit more. Um, 
however, I did like it. And I hope you like this painting. I think it turned out really pretty. It's going to be on my website. And uh, there's so many wonderful ways to support my art journey and all these experiments. And um, there's links below in the description. Um, I've got an Amazon shop. I've got a Patreon community. Um, and I do sell my artwork. I'm I'm just kind of opening up for maybe another commission job or two um, in the next six months. So if you're interested in commissioning a painting, that is always something that we could talk about as well. And have a, I think that's it. Um, thank you for being here and have a beautiful day. I'll let you watch the end and the dried results are also at the end. All right, have a beautiful day. Take great care, bye.
Thank you.